Hello, second graders. This is you, your last day of reading work. Woohoo! You have made it through a whole school year of second grade. And I am so proud of you, especially these last few months. I know it may have been hard you know, with technology and being able to watch things or, you know, you might have had lots of questions and your mom and dad have been there to help you. So make sure that you tell them thank you, okay? Because it's a lot of work for moms and dads, especially when they're working from home, um, trying to do their job and take care of everything around the house and the kids and be a teacher. So make sure that you take a second to say thank you. And I thank all of the parents as well for being teachers um, these last few months. I know it is not easy. And I know you will be there the night before school starts in the fall to drop your children off and say, please take them. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, um, nobody has made each other's go, made each other go too bonkers. All right, I'm going to stop blabbing. So this video is not long, but I wanted to show you, you're going to listen to this story today. So if you follow the link on my Edleo page, it is called The Last Day Blues by Julie Danneberg. Um, this is actually a partner book to another book maybe your teacher read you at the beginning of the school year called First Day Jitters. So real quick, First Day Jitters is about a um, lady who um, is the, is starting her first day as a teacher at a new school, but the author makes you think the whole entire time that this lady is actually a girl because you never see her face. She hides under the covers in her bed and she doesn't want to get up and she finally gets up and she's getting dressed, but you never see her face. So um, maybe you've heard that story, but this is called Last Day Blues. Um, I'm not going to play it for you here, but if you follow the link, it'll take you right to the YouTube story, same one that you're looking at. It's about seven minutes long, Last Day Blues. I like this story for the end of the school year. And then after you do, after you listen to that, you're just going to get a sheet of paper out line paper, white paper, whatever kind of paper you have. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> and you are going to write the following. This is kind of like a journal prompt almost. My best second grade memory was, now this line that I'm doing, you don't need to actually do that. That is for you to fill in what your best second grade memory was. And I want you to tell me why, period. And then the last part is next year, I hope to blank. All right, so if this was me doing this, I'm gonna switch colors. Oh, I can't switch colors. It only, well maybe if I do a new text box, Will it let me switch colors? 
or does it go? All right, it does. All righty, cool. So I'm gonna do an example now as if I were you and I was writing this at home. My best second grade memory was I have so many, it's hard to actually, okay, got it. Okay, my best second grade memory was when Allie and her mom came to see me. Oh, now I have to say the because part because so notice I didn't put this line this is where I was filling in my memory was when Allie and her mom came to see me because and then now I'm going to be filling in this part um, because it made me feel special that they drove to bring me a surprise. And this is true. This is absolutely true. Um, okay, so it made me feel special that they drove to bring me a surprise. Next part, next year, I hope to be back at school with a new group of kids. Maybe yours is something different. Next year, I hope to maybe, um, you hope to do something, learn something, go somewhere, join a new club, join a new team. Want something next year that you look forward to. All right, guys, I'm gonna clear this. You can always pause the video if you need to see this top part or you need to see what I wrote. I'm gonna stop this and, <clears throat> whoa, where did you go? Okay, there you are. I just wanted to tell you, tomorrow there'll be one more very short video. Remember, there's no work tomorrow, but I just want to send you a goodbye message tomorrow. So make sure that you check. All right, have a great day.